books use a formula that looks like this, which is amount equal percent times base. Okay? I use something a little different, which is to teach it, which helps a lot of people, which is I draw this triangle out. My is is going to go here, my of is going to go here, and my percent is going to go here. And I'll explain that in a second. And basically, the base is the of, and the amount is the is. So they're both the same thing, they're just different ways of looking at one formula. And then, again, I'll explain how to use this in a second, but that bar in the middle is going to stand for division. And the vertical bar is going to stand for multiplication. And here's how I'm going to use this. Let's say I'm given the problem. Eight is what percent of 48? Okay, so let's say I'm given this. First of all, I have to identify what my base is, what my amount is, and what my percent is, and what I need to find. So one of the things you might want to do is if you want to plug it into the triangle, which is what I do, then I just kind of go by the words in the problem. So 8 is what percent of 48? So I don't have my percent. So remember, percent went over on the right side, so that's going to be my x or what I don't know. My is is 8 because 8 is... And my of is 48, because we're finding out 8 out of 48. Okay? Then I take these two numbers, and with them I do whatever the operation the triangle tells me to do. The triangle tells me that between the is and the of, I divide, because there's a division bar there. So all I'm going to do is divide 8 by 48. And that's going to give me the percentage that 8 is of 48. So can you do that for me? We should all be comfortable with dividing the long way by hand. What is it? 6%? Try that again. Oh, you're thinking about 48 divided by 8. They're different things. 8 divided by 48 is not the same thing as 48 divided by 8. The second one is 6. This, the first one is not 6. So it's going to give you a decimal. So it's going to give you, I can do it the long way if you guys want to, but it's going to give you 0 0.16 repeating. Do I need to do that? For sure? Okay. So that's in decimal. I want to find the percent. So if I want to find, if I want to convert a decimal to a percent, well, we just did that in the example that Brittany asked about. I'm just going to move the decimal point to the right two times. So this is going to be 16.6%. And that 6 is repeating. Okay. So that brings me to one note about both the triangle and the formula. Our percent is always going to be plugged in or calculated in decimals. It's up to us to convert it to percent. So this is always going to be in decimal. Same thing for this percent. It's up to us to calculate it in, in um, percent. Um, you know when you have the zero. Yeah. Okay, this 0.16 repeating means 0.16666 on forever, right? So, 0.16666666. So when I convert it um, by moving it 2 to the right, I still have that 6 repeating at the end. So that's why it's 16.6 repeating. Mm -hmm. I ran into a problem on the yep. repeating numbers, mm -hmm. and on that... I got the answer wrong because it wasn't, because I just rounded into the 100. Okay, two options. I don't know if it has the option to show a repeating symbol on the homework. It may not. Um, then the other choice is look at the directions. They may tell you to round to a specific place. Okay, do you remember the problem? I can look it up. Okay, we can talk about it later. I can look it up and we can see. It may have just been that you got the answer wrong, maybe, instead of, okay. But typically speaking, it either tell you to round it or it should have the option. If it doesn't have the option, then... Huh? He's just saying how he gets every question right. So. <laughs> All right. <It's> usual. <laughs> so again, um, 8 is my is, 
or if I'm looking at the amount equal percent times base formula, 8 is my amount, the percent is unknown, and the base is 48, which is my own. Two ways of looking at the same formula. Whether I do it by plugging it into the formula and solving for the percent, or whether I do it by the triangle, I'm going to end up doing the same thing, which is dividing 8 by 48. Okay, let's try another one. Let's say I have what number is 90% of 0 0.045. So I'm just going to do my triangle, simple as that, and just plug it into my triangle. So do I have, here goes the is, the of, and the percent. Do I have the is? No. No, that's what they're asking, right? They're asking what number is, so that's going to be my x. Do I have my of? Yeah. Yeah, my of is 0 0.045, because that's what they're trying to figure out. Out of 0 0.045, what number is 90% of that? So what's my percent? And if I had to convert that to decimal, because every time I plug it in, it's a decimal, what's that as a decimal? 0.9. Okay. So according to this triangle, to figure out 90% of 0 0.045, I just need to multiply 0 0.045 times 0 0.9. So it's 0 0.045 times 0 0.9. And can you do that and tell me what that is? So what this tells me is that 0 0.0405 is 90% of 0 0.045. And with these type of questions, we should always um, make an effort to kind of estimate the answer before we even start. For example, if we're looking for 90% of 0 0.045, I know 100% of 0 0.045 is going to be 0 0.045. So this represents 100%. So 90% is going to be close to that. So 0 0.0405 makes some sense. If I were looking for a number bigger than 100%, then I would get a number bigger than 0.045. If I were looking for 50% or something less than that, I should get less than half of 0.045. So it makes some sense to look at the problem and estimate what our answer is going to be. Again, back in this first problem, 8 is what percent of 48? Well, I know it's gonna, not going to be, the answer is not going to be 40 or 50%, for example, because 50% of 48 would be 24. So it's going to be something a lot less than 50%. Um, it actually turned out to be 16.6%. So again, it makes some sense to look at the problem and estimate the answer before we even start. So let's try another one. Twelve percent of what number is 21? Okay, do I have my is in this case? Twenty one, right? My is is twenty one. Do I have my of? No, that's what they're asking. And do I have my percent? What's that in decimal? Point one two. So I divide twenty one by point twelve. Can you do that for me and tell me what I get? Do you guys have an answer? Check your decimal. 
Anybody else want to answer? 175. And again, that makes some sense because we were trying to figure out 12% of what number is 21. And if we did get 1.75, I'm not singling you out. My other one is this wrong too. Um, if, I'm, if my answer is 1.75, then that would mean that 12% of 1.75 is 21. And that doesn't make any sense because 100% 100% of 1.75 would be 1.75. So it doesn't make sense for that number to be bigger. So 175 makes a lot more sense because 12% of a bigger number like 175 would be something like 21. Okay? So again, it makes some sense to estimate this as we're doing it or before we do it. So I have some for you to try out. What is What number is 25% of 90? 95% of 400 is what number? And 15 is what? 15% of what number? is 2.4. Try those, and then if three people want to come up and do them, I'll give them the extra point for today.